Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to uh, discuss about uh, how to do the device tagging in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So device tagging uh, is one of important capability available in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to tag the devices which are successfully onboarded in MDE. Uh, the device tagging can be used to group the devices or it ca also can be used to filter the devices in the inventory view in your MDE portal. Uh, there are three uh, methods that we can use to uh, tag the devices. Either you can use the manual uh, tagging or you can use the rule based tagging or you can use the uh, system tagging. Uh, in manual tagging, you will create the uh, tag manually in the Defender portal or you log on to the target system and create the tagging and that will get applied to the target endpoint. In rule based tagging, uh, you will create the, uh, uh, the rule. Uh, in Defender portal under the asset rule management section and then you will uh, if the rule matches that condition and then the tag will be created on the devices the third one is the system tagging this system tagging will add it to a device based on uh, their information the device information uh, this system tagging cannot be uh, removed it means it is automatically created by system and you user cannot uh, modify or delete the system based tagging on the devices okay let's do the manual tagging uh, in the defender portal uh, uh, if this is the device i want to tag then i'm going to select this particular device and then it will give the option to add the tag under the manage tag section so here uh, you, you can add the uh, the tag name that you want to name for the device uh, let's say i'm going to keep uh, centos and it's saying create new it means there is no name with the tag and I'm going to save and close and then uh, it will uh, uh, get automatically applied uh, to the uh, device. So I'm going to refresh the screen and in uh, less than a minute your uh, tagging inf information will automatically apply uh, to the uh, particular device. So now see uh, how to remove this tag. Uh, I'm going to do the same uh, step like I'm selecting the device and under the manage tags and if I uh, click close and then the tag will be removed from these uh, particular devices and I'm going to click save and close and then if we do the refresh again then the particular tag will automatically get up, uh, removed from the uh, device information. Uh, let's do the uh, tagging in the system itself. So I, I'm, going, I'm going to call, log on to the uh, target machine and here I'm going to uh, registry location. So you need to locate a uh, HK local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows Advanced Threat Protection. And here we need to create the registry key called device tagging. And then you can uh, uh, add the uh, required tagging uh, based on the information, based on the name that you want to name the device. Uh, or else you can also use your uh, uh, the command prompt. For example, since it, you need to add the registry in, in, entries, I can use the command, the simple command, command to add the registry key. Uh, for, the, for example, in this command, I'm going to uh, uh, name my uh, device with a tag name called, uh, uh, let's say, uh, win11 uh, local, something. Uh, so this is going to be my uh, that tag name will be applied to this particular machine. So after I enter this command, uh, it will automatically create the tag uh, tag entry under this uh, section under the windows advanced threat protection section but i'm going to uh, 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 use the intune to create the tagging so for for that i'm not going to uh, uh, create the manual uh, entry uh, using the registry key method so uh, let's do the um, uh, how to do the manual entry in the linux machine let's say i'm logged on to my uh, uh, CentOS uh, Linux server and let me uh, run the MDATP health command and I could see all my uh, policies are uh, successfully applied and if you uh, see here the EDR device tags and there is an uh, there is no uh, information is available in this uh, tagging information so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the uh, command uh, MDATP EDR tag set name group value MDE underscore Linux so it means I'm going to create MDE underscore Linux as my uh, tag name. So let, let me run this command. 
sorry i think i need to run this command in the root admin privilege um, so you get the information the tag set so now i'm going to run the uh, the same command the md atp health uh, to verify whether the tagging is successfully applied or not so here if if you see here uh, my uh, tagging information is successfully applied on this uh, server so this is uh, this is this is a, a procedure that we can use to manually uh, tag the devices in the system itself okay so let's see uh, how to uh, uh, do the device tagging using the intune so for that i'm going to log on to my uh, intune and go to device section and configuration profile here uh, we need to create the new policy and i'm going to select the platform as uh, windows 10 and later and profile uh, type should be uh, templates and here i can select the custom template and click create and here you can uh, name uh, name some uh, name to name the tagging and click next and under the configuration setting I'm, i can click on add and here uh, i need to enter the uh, uh, information uh, for the tagging so here what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to name uh, my tagging as uh, let's say tune tag and description you can type what, what the meaningful description here and under the oma uri i'm going to put that the path which i have uh, copied so this is the path we need to do this is the same thing that it's going to create in the windows defender advanced threat protection device tagging and group Path. and here i'm going to uh, choose the value or the data type as a string and the value this is going to be the name of the tagging for example let's say it is going to be uh, intune underscore md so once i click uh, save uh, the the uh, configuration set uh, item has been added now i can click next and i can target to which group you want to apply uh, uh this tagging for example in my case i want to apply this tagging to all my windows 11 machine then i'm going to click next um since i have already grouped my devices with up operating system information i'm going to skip this and i'm going to click on uh, review create and i'm going to review my settings and then click on create so this will uh, create the uh, tagging and will apply to the target machine but let's see how to uh, use the defender portal to create the uh, tagging uh, device tagging in the target endpoint so uh, i'm in the defender portal under configuration management endpoint security policy let's see how to do the device tagging uh, in the linux servers so i'm going to click on linux policies here you can uh, click on create new policy and you can choose uh, the platform as a linux and here you can choose the template as an endpoint detection and response and once you click the uh, create then uh, you can name the policy and then you can go to the configuration settings where you can define the uh, the name of the tag for example if you expand the ED, edr preferences here it is saying type of tag is group and then i can uh, type my value of how i want to call the tag so let's say i'm going to keep it as a test so you can click on next and here uh, it, it will uh, ask you to target to which group so i have already my linux group is created so i'm going to target this to my linux group and once i uh, click next and you can review the settings and then you can click save once you've done the save uh, this uh, tag will be uh, successfully applied to your uh, target endpoint but i'm not going to save here since we have already done the manual way of creating the device tagging in linux server so let me uh, close this and go back to my device inventory and see whether uh, the device tagging is successfully created yes so if you see here my CentOS, is uh, whatever we have created in the uh, uh the md underscore linux in the device tagging uh, section the same uh, device tagging has been applied and if you notice that this this setting cannot be removed or cannot be edited here if you want to uh, remove then you have to go to the uh, um, your uh, target device and use the command uh, to remove the uh, device tagging and the another one example is the uh, the system tagging is uh, for example if you see this particular machine it is showing wsl2 so this tag was automatically applied in the uh, this particular machine so it means uh, this is an uh, wsl instance running on my uh, windows for example if i go here in my windows uh, machine 
and I'm going to run the WSL and I have already configured my WSL instance in this particular machine. So this WSL instance is success, I mean automatically uh, tagged uh, with the name WSL2. So we also we cannot remove this tag uh, from this um, uh, inventory page uh, or we cannot edit this tag since it is a system managed tag. So let's see how to uh, do the uh, manual uh, tagging in the Windows workstation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this uh, command uh, reg add and this is the path for my registry uh, key and I'm going to create the tag and my tag name is uh, let's call it as, as uh, md underscore win 11 and if I run this uh, uh, command this is going to be create the uh, uh, value inside my registry path uh, so if you go and see here this path uh, h key local machine software policies microsoft windows advanced threat protection and let me refresh this one and you should be able to see uh, the device tagging and then under device tagging you see the group and the, the the device tag name we have created is has been created automatically i mean it has been created so uh, there is one thing like uh, it will take some time uh, to update in the defender portal uh, but uh, sometimes if you uh, reboot the uh, target machine there is a chance like your device tagging information will be uh, updated as soon as possible so now let's see uh, how to do the device tagging uh, using the uh, rule alert management uh, I mean Defender Portal, you can click on Settings and here you can choose micro, uh, Microsoft Defender XDR and you can choose uh, Rules under Rule, Asset Rule Management and here you can create the new rule and I'm going to uh, name my rule as a tag and let us let me give next and here you can define the condition. Uh, for this example, what I'm going to do is I want to filter the OS platform which is equal to uh, let's say Android. And I want to uh, tag all my Android devices in uh, tag name mobile. Uh, let me click next. And if you, after reviewing uh, all these settings, then you can click on uh, submit. And once you create uh, uh, the rule, and the, the rule name will be appear on the screen. And it, it will take a little bit, uh, I mean, um, less than a minute to get successfully applied on your uh, device. Okay, you can also uh, use the uh, API call to create the device tagging. For example, I mean uh, De Microsoft Defender Portal. So here under Partners and APIs, you can go to API Explorer and it will take you to the Explorer page. So here uh, you have an option under the sample queries. You can click on uh, Add Device Tag and if you notice here, uh, the, the action is changed to Post. And here uh, you can uh, provide the name, uh, what tag you want to apply uh, to the uh, device. Uh, here you have to replace with your device ID. And once you provide the name here, and if you run this uh, query, and your device tagging information will be added to your device. Similarly, uh, if you want to uh, remove the tagging, for example, uh, you have added a, a, a tag free. Or some particular machine and you want to remove this uh, tag then what you can do is you can change the action to uh, remove and if you run this command it will remove the uh, the, the tag 3 and uh, tagging from the device okay uh, let me uh, add the device tagging using the api method uh, for that i need a, a machine id which is nothing but a device id uh, i'm going to get the device id from uh, this particular device I'm going to copy this device and I'm going to the uh, API Explorer. Uh, here, uh, if you click add device tag, and it is going to give this query. And I'm going to replace machine ID with the device uh, device ID. And let me give the uh, name something like uh, uh, test3. Uh, or let's call this as a test underscore API. And let's run this query. So once you run this query and it will uh, the tag will be created and you will get the success status code 200 so it means the, the tag is created on this device let's go and verify that so uh, if you check the uh, the device here the so the the test underscore api which we created using the api call uh, the the tag has been successfully applied 
so now you can see uh, uh, all the tags that uh, the different types of tag that we have uh, created has been successfully applied to our devices